Hi, I am KB with Nerdifiles. How are you? I'm doing good, Kay. How you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay, so listen, Travis has a long list of enemies. <laughs> like oh, it's, yes. It's always Longer growing. than his friends. <laughs> yes, yes. I feel like it's constantly growing and growing. Mm -hmm. So my question for you is, who do you think Travis's greatest adversary is in this final season? And is it still Jonah? Because in my mind, it's always Jonah, but you know. <laughs> Jonah, very much like the Joker and Batman, um, who I feel like Jonah and Travis somewhat emulate in certain regards. Um, I feel like Jonah is part of the reason that Travis exists. Like he, he is like the motivation for Travis. I'm not even sure Travis wants to beat Jonah. He does, but he doesn't. There's a greater goal beyond that. And the greater goal for Travis is actually, weirdly, Hitler, the, the height of the party. Like he is. He is trying to find as much power and influence as possible. So, yeah, uh, uh, Jonah is definitely a motivation for him, um, but I'm not even sure he <laughs> he's sort of the reason he wants to keep going. It's sort of his muse almost, whereas he's really trying to work his way up in the New Reich. Ooh, that's really interesting that you find mm. that like his main goal is also Hitler, which is clearly mm -hmm. also Jonah's goal and a whole lot of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are actually a ton of people whose main goal is Hitler. So yes. who do you find actually for Travis is kind of his closest confidant this season that'll have that will help him achieve that goal? Uh, the Colonel, uh, Ava Braun, played by the wonderful Lena Olin, um, is probably his the closest thing he's got to a friend. Um, and there's a some really beautiful stuff between Travis and Lena. Um, she sort of summons him from from prison, um, which is why he eventually breaks out and works his way back to her, uh, which culminates in a romantic relationship between the two of them, which was really cool, interesting direction. I didn't see this character going in. Um, so yeah, I guess his greatest confidant is Ava Braun, weirdly enough. Well, surprisingly, I mean, you know, listen, even with a character like Travis, who a lot of people kind of love to hate, every human being needs love. So, you know, even though that's an odd direction <laughs> to mm -hmm. go in, I can kind of understand it. And um, for her to be kind of the one person that Travis can actually kind of count on, because I find that mm -hmm. he is a bit of a loner in the sense, to your point, he doesn't have oh, a yes. lot of friends. Um, he does yeah. need an individual to kind of help him on this journey and to get exactly. to his He's a psychopath and his love and his feelings are shallow, I feel, his uh, whatever his experience is. He believes he's doing what's right, as we all do. And so me as an actor, I need to be able to empathize with that. I need to be able to inhabit that truthfully. So hopefully I've done that this season. And I mean, you'll find out when you watch it, I suppose. <laughs> well, I absolutely believe that you did. And yeah, it's an Good. interesting take for sure but i right. mean without the love you know who would travis be i think that it exactly. provides an additional we're all layer the protagonists of, yeah, of our own story right right we all feel right. like we're the hero so very true very very true well thank you so much for chatting with nerdifiles can't wait for everyone to see uh this final season it's bittersweet but you guys do a great job so thank you so thank much thank you so much kb appreciate your time have a good day